Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. Hey guys, I'm really excited about today's video. Today we're going to be talking about electrical conduit. And specifically, we're going to be talking about the inside of an electrical conduit. You know, when we make up a piece of rigid or, you know, we glue on a PVC, everything seems like it should be sealed tight, right? Like everything, no worries. But there's some certain circumstances where actually the inside of that conduit is considered a wet location. Let's talk about it now. All right, so there's three major places that I want to talk about today that the inside of a condo is actually considered a wet location. So the first place is all underground installations. So we're going to find that in 300.5B. So anytime we're installing conduit underground, it's instantly considered a wet location. That means all of the wet location rules apply. The second place that I want to talk about is inside of a concrete slab. Now, it took me a minute to find this one in the code book, but you actually have to go back to Article 100 in the definition of wet location and it mentions specifically by name concrete slab. So inside of a concrete slab, wet location rules. And the last place that you may not think about or may not even know about is inside of a wet location that is above grade. So it does not matter where you are if you're above grade and that conduit is installed in a wet location, then inside of the conduit is actually considered a wet location. So you have to use wet located wire. You have to install the fittings so they're going to drain, you know, and everything's, uh, you know, tight and it's going to keep it from you know you know gaining moisture inside of it just like we would if we were outside in the pouring rain and a really good example of this guys is going to be a hvac whip and what i mean by that is that the conduit that flexes typically flexes in between the hvac disconnect and the condenser unit or the package unit or whatever it is so inside of that conduit if it's going to be subject to you know rain and saturation according to the definition of wet location inside of that conduit is considered a wet location that's why we're not allowed to run Romex in that whip and listen pulling Romex out of the jacket does not instantly make it you know THWN so you're actually not allowed to pull Romex out of the jacket like that and shove it through you know uh, the inspector is not stupid it's stamped on the wire whether or not it's THWN or not or some other W designation but with that being said guys these are the places that are going to be required inside of the conduit to be considered a wet location. Let's get to it. Hey, before we get out of here and go fight the good fight, let me remind you that the only way that you lose is if you quit. Remember all the reasons that you're doing this, your family, your future. You can do this. I'm here to help you. You can get a hold of me anytime at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.